Looking for company, Logan? Funny. You strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. No need to thank me, Logan. With your expertise, I should be thanking you for helping us. You might want to save your thank yous until you work with me a bit more. There's a reason I've been freelance the last few years. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. The legend walks among us. You have not set anything on fire today, have you? <coughs> you are the best girl. You know that, right? Awesome! Thanks, Hunter! this. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. These should definitely give you an edge. How does this look? Always a pleasure. Did you tire of listening to Doctor Strange's stories? The ones where multi-tentacled old ones feasted on cavemen? Nah. Actually, that sounds up my alley. I just needed some fresh air. Plus, Robbie likes to crank the volume on his video games, and I don't like loud noises. Right. You're... uh costume is sensitive to powerful sonics you know it's funny my other has protected me from so many things over the years sometimes pushes away more than just bullets
maybe it is the teeth? <laughs> of course it's the teeth. Uh, but they're useful. I've chewed my way out of a number of sticky situations. They must be a pain to brush. Eh, I have acidic saliva, which instantly kills most bacteria. <laughs> Gingivitis doesn't stand a chance. So your other's appearance is functional, but is it necessary? Maybe not. I'm not the only person who bonded with my symbiote. The suit often changes appearance with each new host. Do not change anything. What you are doing is working. My thoughts exactly. Why fix what's not broken? Sounds like you have not spent much time around Tony. If that man comes near me with a wrench, I'll make him eat it. And his suit doesn't have an acid-filled stomach. You and your symbiote have an interesting relationship. It's simultaneously the strangest relationship I've ever had. As well as the most comforting. Thanks for talking about it, Hunter. I don't think everyone inside would take the time to understand how I tick. One of us isn't the miracle worker we claim to be. I'll let you guess who. Farewell. This is as close as you'll get to a straight fight. Take that thing down.
all wasted time. Take long. That's the one you want. That must have taken practice.
Look who it is. Yeah? Welcome to book club. Yeah, okay. I didn't realize Steve knew the author. I really should have read this when he first asked. If you carry Before we start, I want to welcome Logan to the book club. What did you think of the book? I uh, didn't read it. Okay, then. Guess I'll start. Steve, I really enjoyed this book. What stood out to you? I know people have different approaches to leading others, but I never considered what drives them to do so. Take Custer. He led from the front and was mostly loved by his troops, but his drive for personal glory affected every choice he made. Eventually, Custer picked a fight he couldn't handle. His recklessness led to the death of himself and every soldier he commanded. His mistake was making decisions to elevate his own standing instead of his troops. Makes sense. The better they do, the more he gets credit for leading them to victory. I think the biggest lesson, beyond don't be Custer, is that an outsized ego is a double-edged sword for a leader. Also, you can't just get through life with a pretty face. I thought you didn't read the book. I didn't, but I picked things up from context. I learned more about George Washington from this book than anything I was taught in school. Yeah, that surprised me as well. Before this, I associated him with statues, paintings, and the dustiest parts of American history. But here we see a military leader whose personal ambition was the victory of his army. He was clear-eyed about his goals and knew how to get out of his own way. Washington led from the top, 
Though he kept counsel with various advisors, once he made a decision, he expected his subordinates to follow his orders. For less capable people, that sounds far too rigid a way to lead. Yeah, I find it's best to leave some wiggle room. Give your people objectives and the resources to achieve them. More than anyone else in the book, Washington believed true leadership is a contract bestowed upon you by those whom you lead. And that's where the book gets its title? Right. The mantle of authority. It's something that augments you. Which brings us to our final profile. We really don't have to do this one. And now I'm interested. Steve, how long have you bugged me to read this? Not because of the chapter on me. You all know General Phillips selected me for the Super Soldier program. For a time, he commanded me in the field, and that's why my profile is in the book. He was kind to say I led by example. Maybe that's how it used to be. But the Avengers isn't a military organization. If I gave Tony an order, he'd laugh in my face. To get anything done, I need the group's consensus. I can't give pretty speeches about the need to sacrifice. I have to show that putting in the effort today will make a better tomorrow. It cannot be as simple as you make it sound. Oh, it never is. It's a constant struggle, and you won't always see eye to eye. Still, I find it's absolutely worth the effort. Leadership you can gain, but trust, that you have to earn. But I find little enjoyment in talking about myself, so yeah, let's end it here. All right, we'll call it here. Next month is... Hunter, do you have any books to suggest? None from the past few centuries. Then Logan could pick the next one. Sure. The Adventures of Crash Morgan Number 5, The Last Queen of Deimos. What is that exactly? It's about a space explorer with a ray gun, a jetpack, and a fishbowl helmet. Travels through space with a robot dog. They get in wacky adventures. That's a classic. A buddy of mine had that in basic. I'm always up for space nonsense. I'm not, but that's the book. I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure why Logan joined book club if he's not going to read the books. You are not required to do so. Come on. 
It's the principal. I'm actually surprised Steve recommended this book. Why? Steve can take a compliment, but he's uncomfortable with praise, especially from someone he respects. What did you think? Well, the punch is decent, but there should have been a bigger spread. I meant, what did you think about book club? I just told you. Thumbs up for punch, thumbs down for snacks. Well, at least Logan showed up. You did not think he would? I wasn't sure he'd be in the book club, and I don't know what to expect from that book of his. The name alone has me intrigued. Hmm, maybe you're right. I should learn to roll with the unexpected. You welcomed a resurrected demon slayer into your life. Now we read books together. Can't argue with that. When you first joined, I wanted you to keep an open mind about Book Club. I owe Logan the same courtesy you showed me. Good call. You headed out? Yes, I am done. Good meeting. You should be more careful. Hello. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. It's not much, but I have managed to locate a few details. Get to work. Sometimes I even impress myself. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Back tomorrow. Allow us to assist you. Always a pleasure.
I hope Caretaker appreciates all the improvements we're making. Practice makes perfect. Time to take it to the next level. Ready to work? If you can be back again. All right then. Smell. Ready for more? Hmm. I'm seeing the benefits of sparring. Good. I was hoping for something to do. Wanna read something that'll this should keep someone busy. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself. But I have been accused of hogging the ball before. I will do as you wish. No problem. These are the... I'm here if you need me. Getting word of another attack. Vampires in Central Park. Right before dawn. Can you imagine? Dawn? I knew this was coming. Just not so soon. The city is in enough chaos. We'll handle it. No problem. Ah, Blade. Ever the optimist, hmm?
sun will be up any minute now. They don't seem to care. Then let's make them care. Everybody wants a piece of the Daywalker. Yes, people are beginning to feel safe in Central Park again. Yes, I'm afraid they'll have to cancel their picnics and ball games for today. I'm sure they're more worried about surviving. As they should be. You've left me no choice. Maybe you should teach me that one. I think they can arrest you for that in New York, Blade. Let's do it! I think these guys got their tactics from the back of a magazine. overrun like this all that work kind of seems like you're trying to piss me off that transparent. I'm fond of that tactic myself doctor as you can see he doesn't always well, maybe I don't play along when I feel that like Hydra Green is iconic. If you're a low rent mercenary, I mean. No way. 
cover the beating we're about to put on you. Sunlight to fall back on. My job is about to get a lot harder. You seem to have plenty of other tools or toys at your disposal. Nothing's getting vampires to the sun. It's your motivated you. Fair point. Now, New York could be overrun in a matter of days. I think that's fairly obvious to all of us. Hence the urgency. What urgency? You're dragging this out. Keep the pressure on them. as if you're only humoring us with your power. They do not fear the sun. I'll give them something to fear. No. Allow me!
So, the wait is finally over. How long has it been since you felt the sun on your face, Dracula? Centuries. The better part of a millennium, in fact. But you already knew that, Blade. And thanks to your unlikely ally, Dr. Morgan, you back in the dawn for eternity. I cannot allow that! Get ready! Interesting. I can hate you. Are you prepared for life? Finally know true freedom, the power to rule the day just as easily as we rule the night. You rule the night? Maybe it's some rat hole in Transylvania, but New York is my town. That is all about to change. Just as you began ruling the Must be so proud. My salvation and my all began with you. A common refrain from vampires who haven't yet accepted their profound gift. Not everyone wants to. Futile effort. 
it. Lost children, you disappoint us. Betray us. Shed the blood of your own. No one hurts you more than family. Join us in the light. We won't ask again. Hmm. You won't. But not for the reason you think. I don't understand. Why aren't you? To mass produce the serum, you diluted my sample. Yes, it protected you from the sunlight, but each use of your powers burned more of it away. You are, as they say, running on fumes. And when those expire, so do you. This isn't over. It is, for now. Unless you'd care to stay for a walk in the park. Back to the sewer, where he belongs. Are you disappointed we didn't destroy him? Nah, he always comes back. But knowing he's got to live with that humiliation almost makes it worth knowing you. You might not believe it, Hunter, but this ordeal with the sunlight serum is finally over. Dracula has nothing. That is fantastic. I knew you and Blade could take care of business. The sunlight serum is so diluted it no longer poses a threat. The vampires have been cast back into the night where they belong. I don't think I can properly express my relief. Hunter. If you had not been there to lean on throughout all this, I do not know how I would have survived. This plague of vampires put stress on the whole team. We supported each other. You are too kind. I am glad I found such a welcoming family of heroes. And about that... Hunter. You should know that I will remain committed to the Midnight Sun's greater mission. You all helped me in my time of need. It is only fair that I return the favor. Your support is much appreciated. Marvelous. But before we move on, we must make one final decision regarding the Sunlight Serum. We? Oh, yes. I value your guidance. My prototype sample is no more, but I still possess my research notes. I could continue my experiments in the hopes of curing myself and maybe others, unless the risk of it falling into the wrong hands seems too great. You are too emotionally close to this problem right now. Store your notes in a safe place until you have time to reflect on the best path forward. I had not thought of that approach. 
but it does have merit. I do not know when the right time will come, but I look forward to that day. Thank you for your help, Hunter. At this rate, Lilith doesn't stand a chance against you. What drove you to study medicine, Doctor? I know what it's like to feel suffocated by a disease. I wanted to help others avoid my fate. I admire your compassion. To be fair, it wasn't entirely selfless. I needed to learn biology to cure myself. I believe you are a good man. Thank you for saying so. But I was not always the man you know. I did not realize you were once a different person. Were you also once a child? Well, of course. Then I truly feel sorry for you. Children make many mistakes. Okay, Hunter. I see what you're getting at. Everyone makes mistakes, Doctor. Not everyone knows how to move past them. That is encouraging. I see, even doctors need teachers. I'm glad I found a capable one. I could not think of a better way to relax. Time really flies when your head is in a medical study. We're really getting to know each other. I don't think we've seen the last of Dracula, but I've got plenty of ass-kicking saved up for next time.
Hunter, hello. Despite his setback, you know. I am not used to seeing vampires in a chapel. Even Blade rarely, rarely comes here. Naturally. Most vampires wouldn't be caught dead in a place like this. I think you mean caught undead? Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course. Regardless, I am not like most vampires. Because you are a living vampire? Well, that's part of it. My powers come from a perversion of science, so I do not share the vampiric weaknesses. But our differences run deeper than that. What do you mean? Well, for starters, I do not abide by their foolish traditions. Most vampires are superstitious stooges, hissing at crosses and flinching whenever they feel a drop of water. I do not believe in many of the common dark magics. Most paranormal events can be explained through the magic of science. I am used to watching allies throw fire from their hands. Your disbelief is almost refreshing. It is. I am surprised a person with your experience is so open-minded. I would love to hear more. As I see it, the universe is governed by fundamental rules like gravity and nuclear fusion. Science and magic are just two ways of tapping into and manipulating those rules. So, I'm not saying the paranormal world does not exist. I merely believe most people give it too much credence. In the end, science is more powerful than a spell. Our foes are innumerable and supremely powerful. We need to use every tool at our disposal. Ah, now I see why Blade is here. He is both creepy and a tool. <laughs> Wait, please don't tell him I said that. I do not understand. What does it mean to call someone a tool? It is a... compliment. Ah, so you do not wish to let Blade know you hold him in high esteem. Yes. Exactly, that. V. 
feeling good today, girl. I um, <clears throat> have a task that could, uh, uh, well, use your expertise. I do it myself, but my research takes priority. Need a pick me up? Science is a bit hard to follow. Best if I don't explain it. We could all be taking better care of ourselves. It turns out Tony does occasionally make useful contributions. How may the sorcerer supreme? Now this is magic. Let's get to work. Drop me the good stuff. Sometimes I even impress myself. I feel like I could automate this process and take. I'm here if you need me. Stay out of trouble. The mystic arts require concentration and focus, if you don't mind. What are we building today? This forge fire is something special. So, do you have much experience with smithing? Perhaps you should put your suit on for this. Shh, 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 shh. Tony is working.
So, what did you have in mind? Best work, but it'll do. Not exactly an infinity stone, that will do. Not bad, right? As they say, always a pleasure. Back again. Time to take it to the next level. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. Just give me a target. A powerful improvement. May my enemies fall swiftly. This is something I can use. You could go if you were. Ready for more? Hunter. 